Hello again. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think I have to just give up my computer entirely. Um, we're gonna just have to use this from now on. So again, um, now that we have this, which means um, I won't be able to um, share the picture at the same time, which kind of sucks, but we will um, paint together. So if you have the image, please have it beside you so you can kind of use it as a reference. Um, and then we'll go from there. So let me just set this up. There we go. There is my canvas. Let's go more that way. Sorry, it's not being on, and there is a bit of shadow going on. All right. So if you guys can let me know that you can see everything, that would be fantastic. Just shoot me a little comment saying that you're back on. You can see what's going on. That'd be great. It doesn't let me see. Oh, Marie. Hi, Marie. Glad that you can see me. I'm hoping I'm on the right thing. Let me see. That's strange. Okay, great. Hi, Marie, I'm glad you can see me. Fantastic, thank you for letting me know. That's great. Okay, just give me another second, guys, while I make sure everything is up and running here, and then we will start with our painting for this afternoon. I think I broke my Facebook. This happened, this already happened three times. I should already know by now, but I'm very stubborn that I want the laptop to work for what I want it for. Okay, it's just not gonna happen. All right, I think we should be all right. All right, perfect. I think I waved back and I know I could do that. That's exciting, what's this? New broadcast, okay, cool. All right, let's start. I guess I'm the shadow that's in there. All right, so the painting that we're doing is the roses and skyline. So let's start off with the sky that's in the picture. So the sky in the picture is a very, very light blue. Oh, I see someone's joined in. Oh, thank goodness it actually came in. Oh, Alex, hey, Alex. Glad you were able to find me. Okay, and then someone else joined in, yay. Fantastic, okay, great. I love and I hate technology so much. All right, <laughs> let's give it a, I'll give it a little bit more. I see three people are now on, which is fantastic. I know we had about five there. Alex, hello, fantastico. Let's give another second or two while it, hopefully everyone else who wants to join in kicks in. Okay, so I'm adding quite a bit of white to my palette to start and I'm putting um, some blue on my palette as well not that much the actually the blue in this painting is very it's very light sky in this one again you can change it up however you want if you want to make it like a, a sunset sky then go for it start you know get some nice great gradients going so feel free to play it how you want I'm gonna try to remain a bit true to the coloring of the picture right now um, I think I might end up changing it up later because I had a kind of a funky idea, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna keep it um, as is. And then if I decide to make it funky later, I'll share that with you <laughs> later on um, and not, like, after the session, not like during it. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with, um, the sky's gonna be about the like one fifth, the top fifth of it, more or less, maybe a little bit more than that. So I'm gonna just start off by putting on white. You're not gonna see really anything happening here but I just wanna get this canvas wet with paint. Okay, I'm just gonna get a drop of blue to start getting some light in here. And the drop of blue does a lot. It, auto it makes it already, the blue's very powerful. So I don't want it to be very dark blue at all. Like I want it to remain very light very pale okay I'm gonna put another little drop of the blue in it's gonna pop like crazy and I'm just gonna put white right on top of it and blend that out and then you'll see that it already looks pretty plain there hey Jen glad you're joining hey Lindsay I'm glad you 
found this live again. <laughs> Had to pop back off and on again. Hi, Chanel. You got me on that sharing albums thing. So now I'm on day like five. So funny because everyone is sharing their albums and I'm, I don't know if you guys have seen this. It's like a, one of those Facebook book challenge things which like you share your like the albums that you enjoy most or the ones that have influenced you the most. Um, and so my friend Chanel, who's watching right now, um, she tagged me in that. And my music tastes, I, I, I really like my music tastes. I'm like a dancer. I like, I love, I love moving around. I'm like a pop girl. Um, but I see everyone else's lists and they're all like heady stuff. They're all like, you know, angsty or like, I don't know, like real quote, quote music. <laughs> and mine's like ABBA and Backstreet Boys and Spice Girls, and Dance Mix. And that's what I like. So I do have a few that are a bit more serious, I suppose, but that's the stuff that makes me happy. And even I was thinking about like songs that are more contemporary, like the stuff I like a lot now, and I'm listening to Jonas Brothers all the time. <laughs> so that's me. If I was able to and I wouldn't get any copyright issues, I would absolutely be playing like Jonas Brothers or Shawn Mendes or something. <laughs> 40 year old, almost 40 year old lover of silly pop music. So yeah, so I got the sky going. It's very light, like from what you can see, obviously from there. Um, but like it's like super light, but it's like wet. It has white and it has a little touches of blue So I'm gonna get to, that to come down a little bit further because I want my skyline to get into the sky there So again, I'm gonna put another little strip of blue and then I'm gonna Lighten it down with white so put the dark on Get white paint and stick it right on top and blend it and then you'll get a nice color. And I'm just moving my brush just back and forth to blend it out nicely. Okay. And you're going to bring it down to wherever you want really your horizon line to be. And in this picture, the horizon line again is about like maybe a quarter of the way down ish. Yeah. About a quarter of the way down, I would say. Okay. White's tricky because you can't really tell 100% if you've covered the canvas fully. So just <laughs> take a look. I've noticed a few little spots that is still the white pure canvas in the back. And I don't really want that. I want it to be white paint. Okay. So yeah, I do. I think that looks good. Oh, thanks, Shell. Yeah, ABBA is real music. ABBA's kick ass. I love ABBA. I remember... <laughs> The first time I was made fun for liking ABBA, I was like, how? How do you not like this music? <laughs> it makes me so happy. Okay, so I think, do I want it to be there? Or I want it to be a little bit lower. I think I'm gonna still bring it a touch lower. Can't really go too wrong, cause then you're gonna have like waterline anyways. So I'm going to put in some more blue, make it a little, and I've already used up like all my white, so I'm going to have to get more from the bottle. I like really want to put paint all over my clothes, apparently. All right. I should probably just wear the same thing all the time, just so I don't have to worry about paint coming on stuff, but... It's not like you can even see my pants like any time that I'm on here, but I always feel like I need to wear something different. It's very weird. Just in case, just in case you see my pants and you're like, oh, she's wearing the same pants. So I know that's what, you know, you guys are talking about. All right, let's continue just bringing that down. I still want that to be a little bit lighter. Still like a streaky, very chunky line there. I think the sun's making me feel like super chatty today, so. <laughs> Sorry for anyone who just wanted to paint in silence. All right, I think I'm liking where it's at now. Make it a little bit, I just wanna make it a little bit lighter. I don't want it to be this dark. Okay, so. There's my light sky. 
It's a little bit bluer there. Has some wispiness to it. Very pretty. All right. Oh, nope. This way. Yes. Okay. Backwards. We're working backwards. Okay. So now I want to, um, <laughs> this is a little bit lower, I guess. I guess that's already where the water will be. So I'm going to continue this kind of motion, but make it a little bit darker blue um, coming down. And that's where the water line is going to be. So let's put some darker blue. Sorry, it's the same blue. It's just I haven't made it lighter yet. And I still will. I still want it to be, I don't want it to be that intense. That's the same peacock blue that we used on our peacock a few weeks ago or last week. Was it last Saturday? Yeah, it was. I think it was. Okay. In the same kind of motion, I'm just going to go back and forth over the dark blue with the light, with the white. I just want it to be a little darker because that's where that's kind of where the water is going to start being. I'm gonna blend that into the skyline right now, but that's where the that line is where we're gonna we're gonna have the the skyline, the city skyline is gonna be about there. I'm just putting in, just continuing to layer. I just put the blue now on top of it. So it creates a nice gradient effect. I don't really want it that dark, to be honest, that line. So I'm gonna just, once we put in our um, buildings, I might, I wanna add in a little bit more detail to the water. We'll put in some little lines with like a fine brush just to give it a bit more texture make it look more like water instead of the same kind of motion as the sky okay so the line that we're going to do the horizon is going to be about there that's the horizon line across i'm going to switch up my brush i'm just going to get um not the fine tip but like the medium one i have so if you're just feel free to switch it up if you decide to and I'm going to use, I'm going to make kind of like a gray. That's what I'm going to start with, gray. Maybe you want to add a little bit of brown as well. So if you have white, um, black, or even like a dark purple could work too. Just to get like the, start kind of putting in like the shadow of the, the buildings. So I'm not going to be super detailed. I'm not going to try to mimic exactly like the different colorings and like how things are coming up that's not really what I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go more for the the shape of it um, and the feeling of it and I might add a little bit of color just to make it interesting so I don't have any pre-made brown paint so I'm just getting some orange so I can mix with my blue because that will make it kind of like a murky color so I have a lot of white a little bit of black some blue and some orange on my palette right now and Gonna, I think I'm gonna try with this brush. Yeah, that one feels right. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna put in, um, we're gonna start putting in our skyline right around this area here, okay? So I'm going to, I think, mix a little bit of black into my white on my palette just to get a bit of a gray going. It doesn't have to be, don't worry, don't stress too much about the color right now. I would say try and get something that is noticeable but that you might want to paint over and want to play with a bit. So I'm just going to use this gray color and then we're going to play with that. So we're going to start and it's going to be, let's first, I'm just going to put in a line where that, Ooh, that's hard to hold my hand like that. Okay. So I'm just going to freehand sketch in kind of a straightish type of line. Not very straight, but that's okay. Okay, so that's where the horizon line is going to be. And then I'm going to start blocking in some, like, let's just 
put in this kind of like a circular hill, I guess, with a bunch of little residential houses, I suppose. A picture. A little bit more black. And if you want, if you don't want to go into any detail, you could use black and then just like pop it in and just have like a shadow of a skyline or like a pure gray, gray that would work as well. So now we're just going to put in some buildings. So in this one we have kind of like a taller building like about here. Maybe I should use my fine brush. And yeah, we're going to go with it and see what happens. Okay. And then still a lot of mountainscape actually it's actually quite I'm gonna have to make that mountain that building again There's actually quite a bit of and then there's gonna be a flower kind of covering this area but I still want to put something in the background because I may not put as much foliage as what's in the photograph I'm not sure yet I just want to give myself the ability to kind of play with that. I'm just going to switch to my finer brush because I want to get some of the buildings up in here. Okay, so with the same kind of color, maybe a little bit lighter-ish, I'm just playing around with the color just to block in the buildings. I'm going to put another building like here. And you can make your skyline however you want. If you want to throw in the CN Tower, go for it. If you want to throw in the Eiffel Tower, do it. So put in whatever you want. Okay. And when you're putting in the buildings, if you want to make them like, you can change up the perspective or you can make like one a little bit lighter or a little bit darker than another so they can stand out a bit if you want. Or you can kind of keep them all the same color just to make it more of a shadow and again right at this point we're kind of just blocking them in so you don't have to make that decision right now anyways we can always add to it later okay just have fun with it and build like your little silly sit silly <laughs> can be a silly city sure like Sim City. You guys ever play that game? I did a lot and I really liked it. But I definitely just realized that I wasn't playing it right. <laughs> so I would build my city and it would eventually always like collapse. And I always wonder why. And I've just learned that you have to actually like put like water systems and like <laughs> electricity and sort of things. And I think I would just like build stuff and be like, why is it not surviving? Yeah, that was why it actually has like a whole like structure to it. Like you're supposed to actually run like the power lines and pretty cool game. But uh, I, I definitely did not play that right. And so my city always perished. This city won't though, which is good. This one doesn't need any power. Just needs creativity and love. Aww. And there's some little ones in the background. Everything's so straight. I want to make something with a point on it. This building has a point. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So I'm just going back and forth with like darker light, like grays and light gray and dark gray and just kind of plotting out where I want these buildings to live. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect as I paint a very blotchy building. <laughs> it's okay. We'll just keep going. Okay.
think it actually helps. My son this week was studying all about 3D shapes in school. <laughs> I granted mine are very 2D, but maybe that was my practice. Get into it. I don't know what else I want to do here. Let me put another rolling like. I kind of want to make like a circular, like a sky domey one. And yes, it's still the sky dome. I don't call it the Roger Center. Okay, just gonna plot in however many of these little buildings you want to plot in. There's gonna be another one back here, actually. A little bit taller. That one's right there. Okay, I have some more over here on the side. They're so far, we can't really tell what they are. Oof. That one's intense. That was an intense building. This one just took over. The developer. These monster houses. Okay. Hey, Andrea. Hi, Helen. Thanks for joining in and watching. Are you guys painting along today or just stopping in and checking it out? Helen, I have to say this was your inspiration actually. You, uh, you're you the one who showed me that group, that view from my window group. And that's what got me into uh, painting this lovely picture today. So thank you, Miss Helen. I'm just adding some more shapes on top of my shapes just to give it a little bit of dimension. Again, it doesn't look exactly like the picture and it's fine. It's just to build it a bit, just to give it the sense of buildings in the background. So many buildings. Mm. Okay. I'm really sad there's going to be no fireworks this year too. Fireworks are one of my most, one of the things I look most forward to for like Victoria, Victoria Day and also for, um, for uh, Canada Day. They're like my most favorite. I love fireworks so much, so I'm very sad that <laughs> they're not happening, but obviously it makes sense. They're very expensive too, <laughs> so what can you do? <laughs> Hi Teresa! Thanks for joining and watching. Okay, so I'm just going to keep putting little buildings, little squares on my buildings. I'm going to put a few back here too. That's going to be a weird... That's a tent. <laughs> yep, that's a tent. That's what's happening. Okay. This is probably going to be covered by like a rose or something, but again, if it peeks through, I want there still to be some kind of like resemblance of buildings that are happening over here in this corner. And you can be more detailed if you want. If you want to go in and, you know, put in some more, you don't want to just do like little blocks like I did and you want to be more specific in the buildings, you can, you can do that. This is how I'm going to interpret the picture. I 
I find it kind of like the for me I find this a little like easy and uh, fun and very satisfying <laughs> to do it in this way Pumpin City right here. building. Woo! Oh, my heart. It's a problem with you using like a canvas board. It's definitely <laughs> a lot more flimsy and it will fall a lot easier. On a real canvas. Have that line come right there. So I'm just adding a little bit of texture in front of the buildings. Maybe there's land, maybe there's other things that we can't really see. Just doing that with a little bit of white and I'm just creating like little hills, bunches. Maybe there's, maybe there's some greenery growing on and we just can't see it because it's so far away. I'm not sure, but something's happening. Maybe it's a bunch of people. Probably not. They're probably on lockdown. It's probably just a <laughs> bunch of birds. A bunch of seagulls are hanging out. Pigeons, if you're in Toronto. Okay, so I'm just putting a little bit of white and I'm just bringing it along some of the edges just to soften it and to make it look like there's some more stuff happening in the front. Maybe there's some trees, maybe there's some stuff that just gives a little bit more texture to it. Okay. And then <laughs> just taking a look at it and see if I want to do anything else with it or if I'm okay with it. I think I'm pretty okay with it gives me that feeling of there being a city there. I've only used the, I didn't put any brown or any other color in it. We can add some if you want, but I don't know if I want to. I'm gonna get a little bit of just pure white, I think, and maybe do a little bit of shadowing in here. Ooh. Maybe this building has a little. weird shape this building. Now I'm going to put my 3D shapes to use that I learned this week with my son. This teacher will be so proud of me. Okay. <laughs> 
So I'd be cautious. Like, you don't want to put too much detail. I don't think, because you want it to stay kind of in the background. I mean, you could if you want to. If you're really getting into it and you want to create a little city, you want to put, like, windows and whatever else. You can go as, as detailed as you want. But I'm not going to do too much of that because we want to get into the what's in the foreground. a bit of white on some of the buildings on the top. I'll put some windows on some of these. Let's put in some wood on the wall. Down. So just add a little bit like that. So there we go. Okay, so I'll show you a bit closer. So I just put a couple little lines and little dots and little accents on the city. Okay, different colors of gray. So it gives it a little bit of perspective and depth. So there we go. All right, so I think I'm gonna leave my city as such. I might go back in later as I have a tendency and I think a lot of you guys do as well <laughs> to go back and like touch up and do little more nitpicky things to it. Um, I really enjoy doing that too. Um, so we have our water. Okay, so I'm gonna put in a little bit of, um, I want this to look a little bit more water-like. Um, granted, it's, it's pretty blurry in the picture. I don't know if it's, fully necessary to do so. Mm. Yeah. Let me see. I do. I want to put in like a little bit of almost like a bit of a reflection of the buildings in here and I want to make it look a little bit more like water. So I'm going to put a little bit of blue and some white. I don't want it to be super Bam. Okay. I'm just gonna put some. Oh, it's very light. I kind of went too light. Okay, that's okay. Let me make it a little darker. So I'm just getting my brush and I'm just gonna put like little lines. in the water to make it look a bit more like water. It's very far away, so we don't want it So 
I'm just bringing my brush along the side and trying to mix up the lines so they don't stop all in the same spot. bringing that across. So I'm just bringing in some little strokes so the water has a bit more movement to it. Granted, like in the picture, it's very like, um, it's almost like a fog. It's very blurry, so you can't really see any of that. So it's up to you whether you want to do this or not. As is everything. All my, everything I say is really a suggestion. <laughs> so if you want to follow it along or if you have your own idea, please feel free. We should be just about painting and having fun and if you can learn something new cool really just about being creative i i like it it's a little more cartoony i'm gonna put some white back in as well just to not all this blue. Mm, I need it to be a little softer than that. And we'll just soften those blue lines. This is like my favorite way. I love painting water like this. I love having the little lines and the strokes and, and then you just kind of keep building it in layers and then you get, I don't know, it just looks so pretty. My white paint's drying very fast. It's very, very thick in my palette. Okay, I'll just put these back in. Alright, um, I want to put in a little bit of the um, buildings as a reflection in the water. So I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to get some gray. Gray and black, maybe a little darker, I think. Okay, so same type of thing. I'm just going to put a little bit of lines. Here to show that there's a bit of a reflection in the water. Some of the buildings are a little taller. This one doesn't have a reflection. The building is a secret building. 
No reflection for that guy. Aha, okay. Make sure it kind of matches up so it makes a little bit of logical sense, I suppose. Okay, that's a little bit of reflection there. Okay, so this is what I have so far. So we have the light blue sky, the buildings, and some water with a little bit of reflection of the buildings on the water. Okie dokie. Move it over here. Okay. Awesome. So now we want to put in some of the background green foliage so when we can build on top of that. There was a bit of a building in the background too. I don't know if I'm going to paint that in or not. I'm not sure. I think we're just going to start with some of the green foliage. So I have pre-made green that I'm going to use. Um, and I'm also going to mix some yellow and blue as well. No, that's white. Do I need white? No, I'm going to go here right now. Okay. Let's get some yellow on here. A little bit more of my blue. Okay. Awesome. All right. So. Okay. So I want to get, I think my bigger brush is to start filling in the bottom with some green. So I'm going to kind of do, kind of do it at the top with some green and white though. Um, and I'm not, I don't really want to do like back and forth motion because I want it to have some texture to it, but we still want the coloring to kind of get on here. So I'm just going to put in, just with green and white, I'm just going to pop in and make it like a bunch of trees or shrubbery or something's going on back here. And when I'm painting, I'm just adding the color and then I'm just putting white paint on top. I don't want it to be super dark. And when I put in the dark paint, I'm just putting more white paint on top and then I'm just gonna blend it. And we're gonna do the whole bottom kind of like this. And it'll give us a nice background for us to paint our roses on top. I definitely want it to be a little bit lighter. I'm just kind of slapping the paint on in a couple different ways. I'm doing it a little bit darker at the, the bottom. And I'm just adding white paint on top in a couple different ways just to give it some green foliage kind of texture going on. Right now we're just putting in the green foliage kind of backdrop to where we're going to put in our roses. So I'm just going back and forth with pre-made green paint and white paint. If you don't have green paint, mix yellow and blue together quite a bit and now we're going to need quite a bit of green paint. And then just play with the color values until you get the kind of green color that you want. So I'm just going back and forth. Just to give me a backdrop of paint. So when we put our flat our roses on top, it will look pretty cool. Okay. 
and I'm bringing the paint um, just above the waterline and I'm kind of doing it all like I'm not making it straight I'm making it look like it's like foliage like greenery or trees or something that is blocking that so you can even make it go up higher if you want that's totally cool I'm just taking my paintbrush and kind of like pressing it in so the paint kind of smushes along. There's my abstract green foreground. <laughs> that will be our background for our, our roses. I haven't put in some yellow actually too into the green. Just to add a bit more color in the background. Make it interesting. So just play with it until you get a feeling and a texture that you like. Keeping in mind that we're going to be, again, painting over it with, we're going to put the roses on top and stuff, right? So it's not going to be a noticeable thing, but it's still fun to have a nice texture and some color and some pattern going on behind the main focal point. So I've just been putting in green and white and then I'm just putting in a little bit of yellow sometimes as well. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I did there. So that's the bottom, and I've just made kind of like a spongy green, white, yellow background for the roses in the foreground to pop on. So that's kind of like the, the tree tops that were in the back and all that kind of stuff. So we're not gonna, I'm not gonna go too crazy and put too much more into it. It's just gonna be as is. All right. So next step is to put in our roses, put in some of the rose, the stems of the roses, the flowers, the buds, and to really make that come alive and pop. The roses in this one are pink. So I'm going to stick with that too. I have a pre-made pink called Tutti Fruity. I'm gonna use that, but I'm also going to use white and red as well. Okay. Awesome. And I think I might need some more green as we're going along. Okay. I want this to dry a little bit before we continue off there. All right, so now we're going to, yeah, 
I'm totally creating a shower shadow. I should have been on the other side. I wonder maybe I can just move over to that side. Let me see how much that messes me up. All right. I think that's better. Now if I paint on this side, there we go. Okay, now I can paint on this side and it should be a bit better. I just need to be able to see the image. All right, yeah, that's good. That works. All right. Okay, so now let's get some flowers and some random things going on here. All right, so I wanna put in some of the stems in the original picture, there's a stem that goes pretty much from about there all the way up to the top and it, there's no flower or anything, just some leaves hanging. It looks pretty cool. Um, I might want to add a rose there instead. We'll see, we might play with it, play with some of the reality concepts, I'm not sure yet. Um, but I definitely do like that stem that like pops up, boom. So I want to do that. So I'm going to get a little bit of black into my green. Make it a little bit darker. Again, black is super powerful. You don't need a lot of it. If you put too much, it's gonna look very gray. Which might be what you want, which is cool. But just be cautious. Okay. So I want this to be from up here all the way to about there. Nice, thick. Stem burrows. Like that. Boom. Okay. We're gonna put some more stems out here. One's gonna come here. smooth as I want it to be. My head is a bit more in the picture when I do it from the side, I suppose. Okay. But there's no shadow of me, which is good. <laughs> All right. Okay. And then there's another one that's kind of like here, but he's a little woo, woo. Be a little bit too wooey, but that's what's happening. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna have another one come out. If you guys can hear but there's a bunch of kids screaming outside <laughs> hopefully it's not really picking it up if it's distracting and it is I'll, I'll close that window okay so I'm just looking at the picture and I'm just kind of plotting out some of the rose stems that I can see There's a lot of them. Kind of plot where they're gonna live. There's another one that comes up here. Okay, and there's some leaves that are around as well. There's another flower that's here-ish. Another one that's here about. Okay. 
have another one that is here, more or less. Okay, there's another one that's gonna go kind of like right behind that big flower. Oof. Okay. Maybe we'll put in some of the leaves as well block some of those in so that we'll have like a nice big one right here i'll be using this color i kind of want to and it kind of curves. And it was like off the page. So I'm just gonna block that in too. Let's just have fun putting in um, the stems and the leaves that are coming in. And then we're gonna put the flowers in after and it's gonna look so great. And even some of the, the buds, the ones that haven't opened yet, we can pop those, get the shape going. So this is a nice bud that hasn't opened yet. So let's just block that in with the color, with the green. We can add to it afterwards too. And this one I can only see a little bit off the page, but it still exists, so we're going to keep going there. Hi, Annette. Thanks for tuning in, girl. Okay, and then there's a leaf kind of like hanging out in the background that we're going to end up painting a flower over, but that's cool. It still lives. It still exists, so let's kind of block it out. Kind of in this area so I want that to live there okay and then looks like we have this one is actually like a bud too, so we're gonna, I'm gonna just block that bud in. I want the bud to be a little lower than I initially put that stem. So I'm just gonna do it like this. Yeah. And then I want this to go a little bit lower. I'm just gonna keep that going down and then we can always put flowers on top or whatever we want. Okay, and then I'm gonna have like, looks to be another stem. We can even have it in brown too. Maybe some brown stems can even take some shape not a bad idea. Maybe I'll do that in a moment or two. Okay, and then I want to put, this is another bud. Buds are kind of pointy on top and they're, everything looks like a leaf or like a light bulb to me. <laughs> but it's kind of bulky, but then it actually not actually right it's actually a bit bulkier here and then it's thinner so I'm gonna improvise and I'm gonna make the top part a little bit fatter and then the bottom part is that end of the bud I initially made yeah that's a little bit better I'm gonna just go and update some of these so and then there's like a little thing that goes around it here that's more accurate very similar color though, but that's okay. I'm just gonna put 
this in here so that it kind of has a little, little cup to sit in. We can always put some more color in that too if we want to. Okay. <laughs> Definitely need more green already. Just gonna get some more green going. We have some leaves at the top as well. So I'm gonna put those in. Okay, so these are all kind of like, there's one that is coming down this way. see how light the background is over here so what we'll do is we'll wait till it dries and then we'll probably put another layer on here so you can see very clearly where the stem is and where the background is and I we don't want that okay and then there's another one coming this way peeking over here. So the side of it we can see. Okay. And then we have another one up at the top here. That one's kind of come in. There's definitely like another like stem or something coming over here. I'm gonna pop that in. And then from that stem, we're gonna have one that kind of comes out this way and has a couple little like bumps on it. And comes out. Okay. A little bit more texture in this one. There we go. I'm just blocking this out in the green. And then we have another one that's going to come down. And it's going to come out. Kind of like that. And there's like a leaf that comes around top. Both of them. This one that comes around. I'm just blocking out where all the leaves are going to live. This one's already dry enough. But I can make it more opaque. There we go. Even this one too. Okay. Cool. There's a couple of other ones. So there's another one, there's one here. There's another one that's gonna come this way. We're going to get it at bud. And then give it a little holder. No, 
That doesn't look right. <laughs> but it has to be fatter. I did it the opposite way. There we go. That's already better. Okay, there's another one there. And da 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 Maybe there's another one that's gonna come this way. Okay, and I'm just gonna put a few more like little lines in. Maybe there's another one that's gonna come in right here. There seems to be another like leaf or something up here. Okay. So just continue putting in different leaves and branches and lines and, and whatnot. Everywhere you go on your painting. Okay. We're gonna add more to that too. I think we're gonna use my thinner brush. So I just want to darken up and put some shadow in some of the buds that we've done. So this bottom part, I'm gonna put a little bit of shadow a few little lines in. There's also a little bit on the actual bud, so it's like the where the bud is being held, and then on the actual bud itself, a little bit of shadow there too. gonna get some light some white into the green just to get a lighter shade I'm just gonna put a little bit of highlight on there just to continue playing with these a bit so I'm just putting a bit of highlight onto where that bottom of the bud is and the actual bud itself I'm just putting a little bit of white on it just to give it a little bit more Okay, I'm just going to get some regular green and just touch up a bit. Just, it's still pretty dark actually, but that works. I 
another kind of, I mixed it in, but it had a little bit of black on it and it just fills out the lines a little bit. And I like that. Okay, some of those buds looking all right. Okay, and then I wanna put a little bit of detail on the leaves as well before we continue on, because some of them might end up being covered. Well, not these ones, but let's play with them a bit. These are pretty opaque, they don't have much going on. They're almost like a shadow up here. I still want them to have a little bit of a darker, just underneath a bit of a shadow. Ooh, it's very light. Very light shadow. A little bit of black. Okay. Nope, it's still very green. That's a bit too wet right now, so we'll leave that for now. I'm gonna put vein in there. A couple of lines in here. So these leaves up here were a little, I wanted just to make sure they look more like leaves. So I'm just putting a bit more color onto them, make them a bit more opaque because they still picked up the background on there a bit. And then I want to put in some detail to give them like the veins and the, and the leaves. They're a little too wet right now, so I'm going to leave that. Um, I'm going to work on this leaf. Again, do the same type of thing. I want to make it a bit more opaque. And then I'm going to add some details once it dries of the veins. Again, this one's probably going to be covered a bit. I only have some of the roses pop on here. But I still want to make sure these look good. The areas that peek out, I want to make sure they look good. Same with these leaves too. I'll just leave that as is for now. Okay, so uh, there's another bud one right here too. Just put another bud right in here. A little 
space for it to hold it. almost ready to burst, this little guy. like it. All right. So now, um, let's put in, let's start doing some of our flowers, I think. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start off with the rose that's about in this area here. There's a lot of headspace on there. There we go. All right. So actually, let me just show you what I did with the buds, I suppose there. So there's the buds, there's just the some of the leaves and some of the stems. And center that back up again. Parfait. Okay. So I'm gonna do uh the pink rose. Uh, I'm gonna do one right about there, and I think I'm going to use my tutti fruity pink. So I'm gonna make the base a little bit darker and then we'll add the highlights in a lighter, like in a white or a light pink afterwards. Okay, but I don't wanna like super dark. Okay, so I'm gonna start off, so this is the center of the rose is gonna be about here. And I'm just gonna build it out. And this, I do want to make it pretty opaque as well. I don't want you to be able to tell that there is anything else but this beautiful pink flower right here. Okay. Okay, some of the flowers kind of come out more. And there we go. Okay. Okay, so that is the placement of that flower. I'm going to probably put another layer just to make sure there's no green that's showing up before I put in some more um, textures in there. Okay, let's put another uh, beautiful pink flower. Another rose somewhere else. That one's good. That one's very noticeable. You can see it. We have another one that's living right about here, and this one is not very open. So that's how I'm doing it, like that, on that stem. Okay, you can see that. Okay. Okay, great. And then there's another one that lives back here, and I didn't draw a stem for it. Well, that's kind of poopy. All right, well, we're gonna put them in anyways. And then I'll have to draw in a stem afterwards, I guess. I'm just gonna block this guy in here. There we go. And then there's another one up here, and that shape is just like okay. So I'm just trying to get the shape of the flower, but I want the paint to be thick. We can add in some detail to it afterwards, just pop in where you want your flower to be. Okay, 
special and there's a huge big one that's really fluffy and big is gonna be here so This one is fluffy, so we want the petals to kind of come out in its lighter color than the one behind. So I'm just looking at the image and I'm trying to get the feel of where this one is. And then we have another one about here, and that one's like that ish. And mine's a bit more circular. That one has a bit more, it's a bit more like that, I guess. It's a bit more. You can see some of the petals sticking out a little bit. Okay, and then we have another one here, and this one's pretty closed off. So this one has, you see like one petal very clearly. Do not like how that line is turning. Okay. And then there are some elements to it. And there's a petal that's kind of turning over here, but we can't really do that yet. We're gonna have to wait till this dries a bit. And then we'll add that in. And then you'll see some other ones in the back. But the main one is here. And this one's actually gonna go in front of this one because gonna to be too annoying for me to try to paint it behind it <laughs> okay so there's some roses going on we have another one over here Okay, so I think I've got most of the ones that are in the picture. There is one kind of behind here, which I don't know if I'm going to do that right now. I think I'm going to leave it as such. Yeah, we'll leave it right now like that. And then we'll I'm going to add some detail to the roses. So you can see, so I would just put in the placement of where the roses are going to be. Okay. This really adds the pop of color. It's so bright and pretty. Okay, I'm going to get my thinner brush to play with some of this now. Okay. So I think I want to do this one first. I feel like I kind of want to make it bigger. No, I'll leave it the way it is for now. Okay, so the center is definitely a little darker and the center is kind of too, not really in the center, it's kind of like about there, okay? And then I'm gonna use some of this to kind of start making some lines to show 
So there are petals here and they circle around. And they're a bit more, they're a bit tighter right in the center of where the rose is and then they'll come out a little bit looser as we move away from the center. Here, I was gonna, it's gonna be like under some of the petals. And these are bigger. And some of these are gonna come out. So let's put in some of the darker shadows of the rose and then I'm going to go in and put in some of the highlights. And I still want it to be a little pink. I don't want it to be all white, but I do want it to be very, very bright. So I'm pretty much white. And then well, I'm going to touch a little bit in here because there's a little bit of highlight going on. Okay. And then there's some of the nice petals going on right up here. Some nice one that's coming about here. This one's kind of flipping over. Okay, and then we have another one that's here. Okay. Hmm. Well, I did a little bit of gray, but it is too much. So I'll just make it a little bit darker not too crazy dark and there's some lights just gently added in here so I'm gonna put 
some water. All right, so that's gonna be my first one there. Oh, fantastic. Hi, Helen. Yeah, it is a beautiful day. I was debating, I was thinking like, it's such a gorgeous day. I was like, who's going to paint this afternoon when it's so beautiful outside? I was like, oh, no one's gonna join today at all. <laughs> but luckily there's a bunch of you on, which is fantastic. So thank you all for joining me today and doing it. But yeah, I'm glad, um, yeah, if you didn't, you know, anyone who wants to check it out later, for sure, um, this is available. So yeah, you can do it anytime you want, which is what I really like, that the videos can stay up. And Facebook doesn't have like a limit on them or anything, which is nice. Yeah, thank you, Helen. I'm glad that you think it looks really nice and that you're going to be joining later. That's fantastic. So I'm just putting a little bit of highlight on this one here. And this one actually has a bit of green. It's like a leaf that's kind of like coming up into the sky. And on this way, kind of like that. Not exactly like that, but that's okay. You get, you get the vibe. And this one has a little bit kind of coming up into this, the base of this or two. Let's kind of put that there. Okay, and this one has like one that's kind of coming right there. Okay. And I think we'll put in some highlight in that too. Kind of fold it over so I'm just going to add a highlight in here to show like it's been folded over a little bit of highlight there too and I want to make it a little darker here because this is where there's not really much light and the color is darker right there Okay. A little bit there too. Why not? I just put like a touch of black just to give it a bit of a shadow. Be cautious of that because that can be a little too much. I think it's okay. There we go. Okay, cool. I think this little guy needs a bit of a shadow too. So I'm gonna have it a little darker. time do we got whoa okay this session is going much longer than I thought it would be too but I guess it makes sense we are painting from a photograph so you know come on obviously it's gonna be a bit longer okay still though 
Wow. Okay, I'm just gonna, this is bothering me. I'm just gonna bring this stem all the way down. Just felt like it was floating in midair and I looked at it a few times and I thought, oof, I need to fix that. I'm gonna put a little bit of black in it. I do want to add some black to some of the stems just to give it again a bit of shadow. That was a little much, but that's okay. Cool. Awesome. Alright, okay. Hi, Roxanne. Thanks for joining and checking us out. Okay, so let's put, let's uh, continue on with some more of the flowers. The flowers scare me a little bit because I'm always, I don't want to ruin them. <laughs> so we'll see how we continue going on. All right, so let's do the same thing. Let's um, do this one in the back here. So this one has, oh no, the color's like almost the same. I'm going to get a bit of a darker pink first just to play with the, where the petal is. So the petal is kind of, one petal is like here. Okay. I'm gonna go up a little bit further, this petal. I just kind of made that front petal like a dark kind of pink color so you see where that's going and then I'm just trying to um, paint each petal give it a bit of shape so we can see they're each different and individual and this has a bit of oh, it's very light A little bit of darkness just below there. Okay. I don't like that flower. <laughs> it's not working the way I want it to work. I think I'm going to abandon it for a little bit and then I'll come back to it in a little bit. I'm not digging the colors. So I'm just going to add more colors to it and see what happens. Yeah, I'm going to leave that one. And it's not doing what I wanted to do. Okay. Um, let's go in to do another one. Let's see about this one here. This 
one. So I'm just gonna build a petal around this way. To be a little darker at the bottom, a little bit lighter on the top, just to give it a little bit of shape. So I'm just using the pink and just putting a little bit of white and just going kind of in a following the shape of the way the petal is. Oh, can you hear the birds, Jen? That's fantastic. It kind of goes with the painting, I guess, right? <laughs> Works out well. Good job, birds. Yeah, there's so many birds. I do, overall, I do love to hear them. They're fantastic. Um, but they do uh, wake us up in the morning. However, I, I don't mind it, actually. It's, it is quite nice, I gotta say. I wonder if you guys can hear all, like the traffic from the 401 as well, because that's definitely very noticeable too. And there's kids screaming. <laughs> Terrified children, chirping birds, and cars. That's the view from my window. Okay. So that one I think So I'm just playing with the petals and just making some definition with a bit of a darker shade. I'm just using um, there's like a little bit of red that was mixed into it. Into this bud. I'm just highlighting it a little bit. Okay. So that one looks fine. That one I'm cool with. That one, bleh. But that's fine. Okay. So let's move on. You know, if you're noticing, I'm, I'm like leaving this one that's kind of scaring me, the one in the middle. <laughs> I might end up making it look just similar to that one, to be honest. It's a little freaking me out. Okay, so let's move on to this one here. Okay, so again, let's see what we want. I don't want these petals to be. Okay, so it's going to be kind of like this. It's going to come down a little bit. Let's just shape out where petals are. Okay. And then we have another one here. Let's put it all there. Where's that one there? Okay, cool. Again, I'm just going to make it a little bit darker at the bottom here. Bring it out and make it a little darker around the bottom here. Make it darker to the middle. And then we're going to get a lighter color. I'm going to add some highlight in here. And just bring it. Oh, yeah. That's lots of motorcycles or something going on. That's why. You have highly trained selective hearing, Jen. Yeah, I, uh, I, I figure you would. 
I think anyone with uh, two kids needs to have that or else they'll go a little loopy. And not just that, I'm sure there are other reasons why you want selective hearing. Putting in some white just to, you know, I kind of want to make another line like right in here. I do want that line there, yeah. Yeah, I do. So that's nice. Okay. Okay, so I'm just. Adding a little bit of highlight and color in there, and then I want to just get my. There's like a little bit of red and just. Oof, that looks like nail polish that is dried out. Oh, now it's like way too wet. Ah! Okay. That's a bit too pink. kind of want to stop touching that one because I feel like I'm ruining it as I'm doing it. I'm going to make it a few more like lighter lines in here and dull out the brightness or I should say the darkness of that red. Okay, so let's move on to that one. Wow, I can't believe the time has just flew by for me today on this painting. Holy moly. Holy moly baloney. Okay, so there's... Oh, see there's a petal that's like here. Another one that's here. Okay. Another one that's here. Another one that's here. Okay. So I'm just highlighting like the lip of this petal is kind of like folded over a bit.
I'm just gonna add that there just so it you can know that there's I kind of want to leave that. It actually has like, it also has like green that rides up into the flower a bit. So we're gonna put that into it too. So how does that go? Kind of like this-ish. Caressing the base of the flower. That's how it's gonna go there. And I need a little bit of black to make it a little bit darker. That one is that one right there. Okay, cool. All right, all right. Let's, oh yeah, let's try and fix this one now. <laughs> let's do that one before we tackle our big one. Okay, let's change up the petals. So let's make a petal that's gonna go like this, and another one like this, and another one like that. That's a little better. Okay, and then, Dark. There we go. And then we'll get a little bit of the pink. Pink, pink, pink. And just work that in so it's not super dark. That's better. It's not really doing it for me 100%, but it's okay. It's better than it was before. I'm gonna leave that for now and then I might touch it up again because I'm still not a super fan of it. And that one's also the one that doesn't have a, a stem. That one didn't belong to begin with. <laughs> Giving me all these issues. I'm gonna make it come from like, let it come this way and then there. There we go. This one also has the leaves in front of it. Okay. okay. Those leaves are pretty crappy, but that's okay. I will see what I'm gonna do about that afterwards. Yeah. The flower that was never supposed to be there. Okay. Um, next up, um, I'm cleaning, yes, I'm cleaning my brushes between the different colors, exactly. So I did a little bit of the pink and I just wanted to go back to get the green in and I'm gonna go back to my pink. So I'm just, I'm using the same brush and I'm just, um, uh, I took the green off so I can go back and do some pink. But when I'm doing the actual flower, I'm not really, unless I want a lot of the white or a lot of the red to, or pink to pop. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get a very light, almost white pink happening here. And let's play with these and see how they go. Okay, so we have some little petals that are in here. Okay. There's one that's like 
comes out. Mm, my paint's getting pretty dry. It's been out for a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna get some of these going. I'm going to do my own thing with it. I am using the water a bit just because my my paint has been out for a little while now and it's very it's getting it's drying up so it's hard for me to it's not very viscose okay so this one these petals kind of coming out and down I'm going to just Okay, so now I just want to put in a little bit of the darker pink Again, I'm not making it as fluffy as the other flower. I'm going to kind of stick to the, my rose patterns that are a bit more tried and true. Okay, I'm just going to get some more white and add some more. Alright, so I think I think at this point I'm going to call it um, complete for now. I might end up putting in some more um, vines and stuff in the background and maybe some more flowers or whatnot. Um, but I think for now, since we've approached the two hour mark, um, we're going to stop that for now. Um, so yeah, so 
You can take a look. Oh, sorry. Let me let me see if I can get a better thing going on. Okay. It's hard to see what you see when I'm holding the phone. So there's the, some of the flowers there. And there's the leaves. My flowers that I'm not super crazy about, but you know, it's okay. All right. So there's a close up. And there's the painting fully. It's very tricky to hold this up properly. All right. So I think we're good to go there. All right, guys. So that was another Saturday afternoon session with painting with Lisa or Lisa's painting parties, I should say. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this was our completed image of our skyline and roses. Really, really pretty. And the image that we are going from was this one here on the computer, which is super hard for you to see. If you are joining us now, you can take a look and see the pet photo on the comments um, as well. Um, so yeah, so thank you so much for joining. Um, I can't wait to see your paintings. I'm guessing um, a lot of you are probably still working on it as I'm probably gonna be touching up this as well. Um, so um, yeah, so as soon as you're done, please snap a picture and share it on the chat. Um, that'd be fantastic on the comments. Um, and that'd be great, so have a great long weekend um, and I will see you guys soon. Bye everyone.